my way into your clique could find our save They think to find the way to the place I thought was fine to take In my mind I could see the day Every pony knows my name With no shame igniting the flame Hello everyone, my name is Sergeant Spitfire and welcome back to something I have not react to and I missed and I have not seen anything on it so I'm completely blind. This is the Ruby Ruby Volume 5 Blake character short and you know the season premieres on October 5th. October 14th, not 15th, 14th. So, uh, yeah, I have nothing to uh, say. I was really hoping that they would be in a week span, like I said, during the uh, Weiss, but I guess I was wrong. They're, like, monthly. But they might be come out, like, in, like, one more, and that's probably going to be before. And that's going to be, uh, Yang, and that's going to be before premiere, maybe, or at the end of this month. I'm going to assume, you know what they say about assume, but I'm going to assume they're going to do Yang's trailer at the end of the month or before October hits. That's my theory let's see if it comes through fuck it let's watch this thing so i can actually watch other people's reactions to it you know how i rule i right, hit the mic i'm sorry oh we're starting off in menagerie my mouse out of the way you know you guys don't see it it's still in the way and it bugs me yeah i got a lot of fauna faunus there's a multiple so i'm gonna say faunus it's the plural fauna i don't know there's Blake. Can I ask you something? Ooh. Sure. I see a theme going with the trailers. Why, Why'd you join the White Fang? Same reason as you. But but why fight when I pass for human? Forget our name. It's okay. You're not the first person to ask. I know I look just like any other human girl. And for years, that's how I was raised. We lived in Mantle with Just the go. other Faunus working the mines. But my parents wanted something better for me. They managed to enroll me in an Atlas prep school. <laughs> Imagine that. A little Faunus girl from Mantle going to the City of Dreams. I felt like a princess. But I had to follow a set of rules. Alright, we gotta fight! You know, bringing friends home? I'm talking about my parents. And absolutely, under no circumstances, was I allowed to change colors? No one okay. could know I was a Faunus. That sounds terrible. It wasn't. It was confusing at first, but it wasn't hard. Especially if it meant being an Atlas. Was that dust? Sometimes the other girls would say things about the Faunus. That they were animals, that they were dirty, or they lied, and I'd say those things with them. Because I felt like I was one of them. And then, one day, there was a cave-in at the mines. I was at school when the news broke. Apparently one of the workers tripped while handling some agitated dust crystals. The explosion caused a chain reaction. And my friends snickered. Wow. I don't want to say anything during this, but it, something's going on in my mic shaking. I don't know if you can hear that. I lost control. Every inch of me turned blue as I wept. And suddenly, all the girls that I'd laughed and played with were scared of me. I'm sorry. Don't be. I broke their teeth. Wow. What 
they have some sort of bond. What happened? He got away. Pretty gonna see that. Volume five is there. Fight maybe. That'd be interesting. That was interesting. There's still more, so but like I said, she still had the chance to take her out and she didn't. I see something going on. Are people gonna ship these two? Uh Blake and her. People gonna ship that. Let's see that. All right. All right. Nice. And there we have that. So that was everything. See you guys in the outro. Yeah, there was no talking during this. There was only like me talking. Like everyone else is telling an awesome story, but I wasn't even talking because I wasn't. I was invested, and me being a me being one of the weirder reactors, I don't want to say. Like, invested, I want to keep talking and talking and talking, but with Ruby, it's more like a story based show on like MOP where it's just. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know what I call uh, MOP makeup. A, like an action where, you know, com like. I'm going to call Ruby an action show, and I'm going to call MOP like a slice of life show. Like, with action, cartoons, and anime, um. Uh, Red shows in general, you have to pay absolute attention or you miss everything. With them up here, like, oh, that happened. I guess I can miss a little bit of things because, like, there's no action. It's just people, uh, ponies talking. With Ruby, you have, like, talking, action, and all that, and you gotta pay absolute attention, especially, and I think in this volume, we're definitely gonna get a lot more character interactions and going to see a lot more faces from the previous volume and hopefully the other volumes hit my mic again come back into the picture and a lot of people want to see neo return which i am kind of hoping for that too and uh, a lot of people want to see team coffee and most of the other teams come back and um i would like to see that too um uh, but yeah, this was uh, very nice. Uh, I really like there's a theme going on with the uh, the characters, except Ruby, going into their past and like exploring like their past with Weiss. It was how she uh, was trained and how she trained under Winter's wing. And then this is maybe when Blake first, well, you know, after accepting the white fang she was like all right let's talk to some other members and see how they joined you know uh i'm, I'm just thinking like something like that and, but i could be completely wrong this is a theory and are people going to ship blake and her i forget her name i'm sorry but are people gonna ship that i don't know i gotta learn more about her character and stuff but with that smile and how they interacted i could see that i could see that all right, all right, I can see it. I can see it. But like I said, I'm not a shipper in Ruby. I never have been. I'm not really a shipper anymore either because people are ruining, ruining this uh, shipping community with every fandom I'm in. But he's getting ruined with ship haters and shippers just being dicks. Uh, Ruby especially with a whole bunch of drama over ships, uh, you know, other things. Just those two communities have the worst shipping fans I have ever seen. I've not seen anyone so bad as the MOP and Ruby community when it comes to shipping and I'll get back into this later with my rant but hey this was a great short I really enjoyed it it was uh yeah it was action based and like I said she had a point to kill her but she missed the opportunity just kind of fled I would see more about that because she did have an open shot just to kill her but I don't know like there's some sort of deeper community, uh, do deeper connection, which we're probably gonna, like I said, see during the volume. So, yeah, it's good to be back, guys. It's good to be back, and I uh, hope you, uh, cause I'm going to do everything for Ruby that I missed out on. All the short, all, all the, 
all the Ruby Chibi uh, season two stuff I missed. I already have one uh, recorded. I have eight and nine recorded. I still have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 to get recorded. And it'll probably be done by one every night. And then I'll re uh, we're like two every night. We're like three every night. I'm going to think about two every night. And then those will be uploaded. But this thing will be uploaded. And I hope you guys, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys come back. And uh, peace the fuck out. Peace out. The fuck out. Whatever. Peace out. Fuck you. You want this ball raised? I'll show you all the meaning of ferocity. When I step on the stage, there's no copy me, no stopping me. A one trick pony? At least I know just what I'm good at. We're flailing on the ground just like a blank flight. Just stop that. Just get back. There's more to us than meets the fucking eye. We're not some ragtag tour to disappoint. We will surprise everyone who tries to front and come at us without had it. Time to make the crowd.